Hi there. Today we are going to look at a uh, little bit of IBM history. This little box, and you can see it's 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 little, is part of something called the photo store system, the IBM 1360. Now the 1360 was an attempt to make a huge memory system. For the time, this was the early mid 60s roughly, this was gigantic. Something like a terabyte, I think, or a terabit. How did they do this? They did this using photography. The, uh, the bits were stored as little dots on photographic film, obviously right only. And uh, the, these dots were, were absolutely tiny on, on the film and could be obviously written once, but then retrieved, indexed, and written or er, read over and over again. This little box is one of the containers with the film. You may run across these. I don't know. They are rare. They only, they only made six machines. These machines were absolutely huge and uh, only went to very, very large installations. This one I dug out of a surplus place called the Black Hole in Los Alamos. So no doubt it was at the uh, Los Alamos computing facility where one of these photo stores was in use for many years. In any case, let's take a look at it. This is a light proof box because obviously you do not want to expose it to light uh, outside of the machine because you, well, just like any old film, you will ruin it. You may try and open this thing and it looks like it wants to slide, but oh, it really doesn't. If you look on the top, if you find one of these and want to get it open, see that little hole? What you really have to do, push it in. There we go. And it slides open. Here, we can see these bits of yellow. They were called chips. This, the, the whole device was called a cell. And it held, I think, 32 of these little chips. Let's see if I can extract one. They are... There's one. Uh, I think I got two. Well, whoops. I don't want to uh, scratch these up or anything like that. I well, can shake one out. Obviously, these have been... Well, they, they appear to be unused, but uh, obviously they are, they are done. They're, they've been exposed to light. Each of these chips, as they were called... Oh, now, now i got to get back, back in there. <laughs> Each of these could store, believe it or not, four megabits. That was a huge amount for back back then. Let's see if I can actually get this thing in. I may have to do this off, off camera. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think I'll do it off camera. <laughs> well, we'll leave it out anyway. And uh, so uh, each photo store system would have thousands of these boxes. So, as you can tell, tens of thousands of these 4 megabit chips. And the machine would, would pull these out, and when you were writing to them, it would expose them to, uh, I believe it was an electron beam system, and uh, uh, it would write the bits out, then it would somehow serialize it. I don't know the exact technical way they did that. And then it would, uh, it would uh, go and store it in basically these huge light-proof cabinets. It was all a robotic system. If you needed your data, it would go and get it pretty fast, too, apparently. It would go and retrieve the cell, open it up, find the chip it needed, stick it through a scanner, and spit out your data. So these things, they do show up from time to time if you ever see one. Now I hope you'll know what it is. They didn't make many of these. Um, I have seen these on eBay from time to time, uh, but it is kind of a, a neat little system, a big system, I should really say. Kind of went nowhere, but uh, it was the big system for quite a long time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. 
it's just a, a little gizmo. You know, it's not terribly useful, but, you know, what can you do other than have it in your collection? I don't think I'll be finding a 1360 anytime soon. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now I'm going to try and fight with the thing and get the thing back in because I don't have a robotic arm. Thanks.